A Tampa mother is pleading for her daughter's killer to turn themselves in. It's been more than a week since 21-year-old Savannah Mathis was shot and killed in Tampa. And whomever did it is still on the run. Nico Clemens is live. Nico, you spoke with that young woman's mother. Uh, Josh, Jennifer, losing a child, a parent's worst nightmare. This right here is 21-year-old Savannah Mathis had her whole life ahead of her. Her picture's on the door here at BJ's Alabama Barbecue on Del Mabry, where she worked with her mom and family and touched so many lives. Just brought light to my life. She was my strength. She was everything to me. La Maria Smith says everyone knew her daughter by her smile. Everyone knew Savannah for her personality. Um, just who she was. She was just a sweet, sweet, beautiful soul. I'm a gator. Are you a gator? Go gator. Y'all in one time. Go, go, go. She had dreams of going to the University of Florida. And everybody knew her, knew how she was about the gators. So, I mean, for you to say she was a threat, she wasn't a threat. It's just you were cowards. Those dreams were cut short last week. Savannah Mathis was one of two people shot December 1st in Tampa. She died two days later. And the last thing I said, baby, I love you. I see you at home. And I didn't get that opportunity and said I got a bad phone call. And by that time, it was too late. Mathis was Smith's oldest daughter, her youngest, and now without her best friend. I tell my daughter, you remember the good times. That was your best friend. You take those memories with you. Mathis was a student at Hillsborough Community College. And when she wasn't there, I'm you probably saw her working at BJ's Alabama Barbecue, where her mom is co-owner. And now there's a growing memorial inside for the 21-year-old. The family is searching for justice. It's not fair. Put these guns down. Y'all don't realize the effect that y'all leaving on families. Smith says it's hard, but she knows she had an angel on earth while her daughter was here. She was returned to her heavenly father. And and like I said, with that, I have a peace of mind as a mother. Mathis started working the cash register here at eight years old. That shooting happened at Delaware and Grace. That's where the family plans to hold a candlelight vigil tomorrow night at eight. Live in Tampa, I'm Nico Clemens, eight on your side.